America, Christians are used to worshiping freely wherever and whenever they choose. In the Middle East, however, Christians are just trying to stay alive. For many there, the choice is to convert or die. In Mosul, Iraq, ISIS terrorists left marks on Christian homes to identify residents as followers of Jesus and target them for execution. Rather than renounce their faith, Mosul's Christians chose to flee, some with nothing but the clothes on their backs. It's a pattern that's being repeated throughout the Middle East and Africa, as Islamic extremists led by ISIS seek to wipe out ancient Christian communities. Centuries old, churches and monasteries are burnt to the ground. Christian villages are ransacked. Women and children are enslaved. And believers in Jesus are led to their deaths as ISIS declares an all-out war on Christianity. Throughout the Middle East, Christians are suffering horrible persecution. The one country in this region where the Christian population is growing and enjoys full rights and freedoms is right here in Israel. We are living at a time when ancient Christian communities are being decimated, when Christians are being decapitated in mass in the Middle East, when they're literally fleeing for their lives. There is one place in the Middle East where you have a growing, thriving Christian community, and that is the state of Israel. Christians United for Israel is standing with the Jewish state as it stands up for the persecuted Christians of the Middle East. On Capitol Hill, Kufai is working hard to ensure America's allies in the war against ISIS receive the aid they need to beat back the radical Islamic tide. Online, Kufai is leading a Raise Your Voice campaign to bring the issue front and center for Christians across America. A four-year-old girl kidnapped and beheaded, beheaded, beheaded for belonging to a Christian family. We will not remain silent as Islamic extremists like ISIS target the Jewish people and carry out a genocide against our brothers and sisters in Christ.